Greetings and welcome back to another classic Game Room review, this time Forza Motorsport on the Xbox, which says you are what you race, which means I'm an El Camino and proud of it. Annoyingly, there's no El Camino in the game. Thankfully, we get the Buick GNX, which is a pretty badass car. That would fit nicely into any 80s TV show Car Chase or The Road Warrior. But more on that later, it's Forza Motorsport, the first one from 2004. Microsoft's answer to Sony's Gran Turismo series. An answer that lately has gone unchallenged. I don't know what Sony's done with the GT series. As a PlayStation 2 owner and enormous Gran Turismo fan, I never played Forza when it was new. In fact, I always assumed it sucked because it wasn't Gran Turismo. Well, I was wrong. This game does not suck. In fact, far from it, it's amazing. Playing this nearly a decade later, it's impressive. It's still impressive. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've played this game before. It was called Forza 2 on the Xbox 360, which is basically just an enhanced version of this with uh, way better music. The generic stock music gets old after a while, but you can always turn it off or play your own music. In fact, I'm playing this on the Xbox 360. And what's funny is that if you had played a 1994 racing game in 2004, it would look archaic. Well, playing this nearly a decade after its release shows a few things that, uh, one, hardware advancements aren't quite as drastic as they used to be. Also, Forza was ahead of the time and has established itself as the console racing series to beat since Gran Turismo just apparently left the party, like mid-party. I don't know where they went. Maybe they'll come back with the PlayStation 4, 5, 6, 7, I don't know. Enough of that. Let's talk about how good this game is because not only is it impressive for a 2004 release on the Xbox, but it's also just a kick-ass game which established the Forza series for years to come. It came with an arcade mode, career mode, multiplayer, and people, you know the drill, you buy a cheap car to start, win races, upgrade, win more races, buy new cars, unlock new races. The formula really hasn't changed very much. The driving controls are excellent. With the controller, they're very similar to Forza 2 and 3. I'm not as familiar with 4. And while this does play on the Xbox 360, there's some slowdown and audio issues here and there. But, you know, enjoy used games while you can, because soon you'll never be able to play them again. I rather enjoy this hill climb track here. There's a lot of courses in the game which have established themselves as basic Forza tracks that you know and love. And there's others which you just don't see anymore. So it's fun to go back and experience these series from the beginning, where you can collect cars from more than 50 top manufacturers, according to the packaging, with marquee brands like Ferrari, Opal, and Pontiac. And unlike those namby-pamby sissies over at Gran Turismo, they'll let you beat their cars up. That's right, they can take and dish out damage, one of my favorite parts of the series. The driving is good, it looks good, there's lots of cars and tracks. Is it better than Gran Turismo 4? You know I'm not going to answer that. Because I love that game and I'm pissed off at the Gran Turismo series. This newfangled Xbox game console and Forza stole everything from Gran Turismo 3, did it better, and continued to do it well. Like I am absolutely stunned at how good the original Forza Motorsport is. Really, I, I didn't expect it to be this good. Uh, this was sent to the show by the now infamous Mohammed from Qatar, who said it was good, and he was right. It is. It's really good. What's that now? You don't want to play through a giant career mode? Earning credits? Leveling up and unlocking new cars? Well, then jump into the arcade action and crash all of the expensive cars you want for free. Did I mention it has Ferrari? You know, there's really no reason to pick this game up at all today. In fact, I would advise against it. Go straight to Forza 2 or 3 or 4. The developers have continued to improve this series or have at least made the games bigger and more recently expanded with Forza Horizon. 
Yes, Forza is a game that I want to hate. I want to hate all of them, but I can't. Even if it's console specific and has a silly name and doesn't include El Caminos or spaceships with lasers, Forza continues to deliver a good product. And this is where it all began. Let's revisit that Buick GNX, by the way. When the car looks like it belongs in a post-apocalyptic Mad Max movie, when it's brand new, then you know it's a good car. It's Forza Motorsport from 2004 for the Xbox, also plays on the 360. Thanks again to Mohammed, and thanks to all of you. I think we should nickname this version of the game Forza Motorsport GNX Edition in honor of the Buick GNX. <laughs> 